Hi guys, it is Lindsay. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your cursor to basically anything you want. And then I'm going to be showing you how to um, customize sorry about that, how to customize your Google Home screen. So we're going to start with the cursor. Um, if you don't know what your cursor sorry, I don't know if you can hear that my dog's lagging. Um, if you don't know what your cursor is, it's basically your little mouse pointer. So, um, you're first going to find a, first, sorry, first go to cursor.cc, I'll leave a link in the description, and, um, you can basically design your own, um, but, I mean, you can, but I personally think it won't look that good, but, I mean, I don't know, if you're like an artist, I don't know, I don't know, I don't no. Okay. So you're going to search whatever you want and make sure it is a tra it has a transparent background. So just add PNG to the end of whatever you're searching for. And I found this cute little ice cream cone. And to make sure that it is transparent, then you can just click on it and wait till it loads in. And if the background is checks like that or checkers whatever, then it is PNG or transparent. So I'm just doing this ice cream cone because I think it's cute. And then you're going to go to the cursor editor. And just, one second, <laughs> just click import image on the side here where there's stuff that you can do. And then just choose file and find the ice cream cone that you saved to your desktop or your laptop. Desktop. Yeah, I'm using a laptop. It's, yeah. <laughs> then you're just going to click upload, and there we go. And it, yeah, there we go. And as you can see, that is what it's going to look like. A little ice cream cursor. And then you're gonna get, you're gonna click download cursor. And as you can see, it's going to download right there. Now we're going to go here, and we're going to um, right click your screen and click personalize and it's going to open up your control setting your personalization and you're just going to search mouse pointers and then click mouse and then you're, it's going to open mouse properties and you're going to click pointers and then you're going to click browse and as you can see here's an example of one this is a um this is a mouse pointer that it looks like the one the mac um apple computer mouse pointer or you can be more creative and do this and go like i did yay i see and it, you're just going to click apply. And there you have an ice cream cone! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to tell you how you can, eh, there we go, how you can customize your Google Home screen. It's actually really super simple, not hard at all. So, you're going, you need Google Chrome for this. If you don't know how to get it, it's really simple. Just go to your Internet Explorer, which this is Microsoft Edge. This is just the one that came with um, my computer or the Windows 10 update. And then just search um, Google Chrome. And it should be the first one that pops up. Just download Google Chrome and then just follow the steps to download it. Um, it's really simple. It's pretty easy. Just click download now and then you can download it. Okay, so you're going to click the three little lines up here and then go to settings. And it's going to open up your Google setting. 
and you're going to go to appearance and then get themes. I guess these are called themes. Um, and there's going to be tons and tons of choices, hundreds, thousands of choices that you can choose. You can search for some, or you can just look. You can just scroll through them. There's Frozen, there's Boxes, Galaxies, Flowers, Doge, Cats, Tigers, Lions, Five Nights at Freddy's, if you are a fan, Crosses, Hearts. Flowers, basically everything, but this Olaf is just adorable. I'm sorry, I have to get this one. You're just gonna click on it with your ice cream click if you have one, <laughs> and then click add to Chrome. And literally, that's all you have to do. And then you just let it load, and then you can have an adorable Olaf theme for your Google Chrome. And it's still loading. <laughs> Yay! Hola! As you can see, if it loads fast enough, you could be your mouse pointer. I think that'd be cute if you matched it with your theme. Oh my gosh, so cute! I love Olaf. Thumbs up this video if you love Olaf. He's just so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And comment down below if you tried this and if this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.